Blouse and Skirt, hosted by Oliver Samuels. And tonight, Oliver's guest star from Trinidad and Tobago, the unlucky lover, Errol Fabian, and the enigmatic sprang along, larger than life, Merrill Kenton, from Jamaica, the lovesick Bello and Blacker, plus the golden tonsils of black voices. And all the way from the kitchen, Lavina Brown, Devon Morgan, and Charles Tomlin. Tonight, all drinks are half price, and we'll have live entertainment for you. Now, to begin with, I would like to tell you a story. No, 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 no. It not go so. Watch this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my bar. Blows and skirt. Weird. Is what happening in here. And why all of you staring at me like that? Is that a good thing on the eyes? Don't make out a bullet. I would not have certainly turn me in a target practice. You know, this is the problem I am having. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot get the quality staff to deal with. You know, these have no pedigree. Them come to you, them and them bogus recommendation. Please, sir, please, sir, I'm begging you to give me the work. You're sorry for them, and you give them work. And them same one want to bring in union for you. Now back to the kitchen. <laughs> totally bugu yaga. <laughs> now. Only go. What? The guys on the darkness, they can't get a spot on the show tonight. Get a spot? Make them go into the kitchen, take the broom and go clean out the kitchen. So you are going some man. Make the boy them do a thing now. Do a thing? Do a thing. <laughs> they can sing? No. They can play guitar? No. They can play a drum? No. Well, make them do a thing in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, let me put it to a boat then. <laughs> a boat? Me look like politician. <laughs> you think this is the House of Parliament? This is my bar. Me run things. Things not run me. <laughs> please, Oliver. Please, pretty please. Handsome. You think so? <laughs> you could be a model. You think so? Film star. Them in a film star already. <laughs> I rest my kiss. All right, go on now. Tell me something. You can't make me introduce them. Me kiss. They call me good customers. Them not come yet. Ladies and gentlemen. I present to you, from the kitchen, <laughs> Devon Morgan and Charles Tomlin. Charles, eh? Are they sun or the moon that? I don't know, you know, I don't live in this area. <laughs> You was late this morning. I know, but um, I couldn't help it. I had was to go down to the police station. You what? My brother is with the police. I didn't know so your brother in the police force. No, man, you're mad. He have ambition. He is, not, he is not a police, but the police hold him. So what them hold him for? Because they see me walk with his finger like this, because he has stiff finger, and they hold him say he's a pickpocket. <laughs> oh. So your brother is a pocket picket? No, man. He is not a pocket picket. I mean, picket pocket. That, no, he is nothing like that, man. That's why I go and bail him. You're still late? Yes, but I'm away back and get a puncher tire. Then how you manage to puncher your tire? Me run out of one bottle. So, voila. You never see the bottle? No. The drunk man, he have it in his pocket. <laughs> Yes, 
Yes, but at the same time now, the truck driver run over my brother. So, the driver never see your brother? Yes, but he never knows you're my brother. <laughs> he not even know me. So your brother dead? No, but he died, so if he not dead, he will live. You're going to turn a fool again? Yeah, a, a big man like you so stupid. Tell me, you know how old I am? Of course. How old am I? Hold on. <laughs> 32. How you know? Because I have a little brother who is 16 and him is a half idiot. <laughs> But I never hear you, we tear down the place. And you're going to fix that too. <laughs> but Mr. Oliver. No, but you're not getting one red cent on your pier to the kitchen. Ten per cent. Ten per cent. Ten per cent. Ungrateful. In manage. I have been generous enough. Generous enough to make the boy them come up here and to do an expose of them talent. <laughs> and them a come, come stretch out hand to me. I should have dismantled them. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have a really great show here tonight. It is such a lovely show, and I know you're going to enjoy myself. So, we have a talented lady. She is large. She is large mentally, she is large emotionally, and she is large figuratively. <laughs> now, you're going to join me and put an arms together for uh, Meryl. <laughs> Yeah. 